Welcome back to Skippers. Today we are going to look at three of my favorite options when it comes to closers in fantasy baseball. These are three guys that are going uh, generally early. I'll do another video at some point that has some late save options and maybe even some guys who are really good first saves and holds leagues. Do not forget to subscribe as we will have a, a fantasy baseball video come out every single weekday up until the start of the major league baseball season. Let's get into three of my favorite back end options. First one is Yuan Duran. Of the Twins, he has an ADP of 71. Last season, 3-6 and six at 2-4-5 ERA. He had 27 saves and a whip of 1-1-4. Duran is one of the best arsenals in baseball that is anchored by the hardest fastball in the major leagues. That fastball averaged 101.8 miles an hour last season while also having a sick curveball that returned an expected weighted on base average of only 184 last year and a whiff percentage of 45.9%. And his third pitch to round out the arsenal, one of the hardest split fingers ever thrown, averaging 98.4 miles an hour and had an average launch angle when he would throw the pitch of negative 14 degrees. Duran held an 18.2% swinging strike rate, which was 11th best in baseball and a 2.72 xFIP while having 27 saves last season. To me, Duran is the cheapest of the top tier closers, so it is nice to get a discount on a guy who has the upside of the best closer in the league. When we look at closers, it's will you get the opportunity? Will you be the first man out for the opportunity? And this is an easy yes to both with you on Duran because I think the Twins are still going to be a solid team this season. Duran struck out 84 hitters in 62 and a third innings last year, but still had a batting average on balls in play against of 301, as well as a ground ball percentage in the 99th percentile. So he was getting ground balls and three out of 10 of them, it seemed, were getting through for base hits. I think you're looking for some regression in that BABIP stat. So I think um, he will be able to give up some less hits. But again, getting ground balls is not a bad thing for pitchers. You get hurt way less on the ground than you do in the air, and Duran is great at that. Looking at the expected stats last season, he had an expected ERA, expected batting average, whiff percentage, and strikeout percentage all over the 95th percentile. He doesn't have to worry about someone stealing a spot at the back end, obviously, so I believe that Yuan Duran will be one of the safer options to anchor the back end of your bullpen in fantasy baseball. The next guy is someone I talked about rostering last season as someone I loved as a closer, but I think it's an even better situation this season. That is Andres Munoz of the Mariners, an ADP of 112 last season. He went 4-7, and seven, a 2.94 ERA, 13 saves, and a 1-2-5 whip. Munoz was given the keys to the back end of the Mariners' pen when they dealt Paul Sewell to the Diamondbacks and should have the ninth inning all to himself in 2024. And another thing, I think that the Mariners are going to be good this season and he shouldn't have anyone knocking on the door to be that ninth inning guy. Now that I saw Matt Brash is hurt, he is the ninth inning guy for a team that should have a lot of wins. He dealt with some arm injuries last season, but seems to be coming in with a clean bill of health. He has elite swing and miss stuff, and this is the year I think he's going to break out as one of the better closers in all of baseball. Munoz has an elite ground ball percentage, an elite strikeout percentage, and that leads to a lot of success, like I said earlier. Munoz has an XFIP in the 96th percentile, strikeout rate in the 92nd percentile, a home runs per nine in the 93rd percentile, and had a high BABIP against that was in the 20th percentile as well of an average left on base percentage. So there is some regression due there to the mean, and he should be better in those two categories. He had a swing strike percentage and called strike and whiff percentage in the 99th percentile. He had an expected ERA, an expected batting average over the 92nd percentile, and his ground ball percentage was in the 96th percentile. Munoz became an elite pitcher after a pitch mix change, which had him now throwing his slider about 50% of the time, and that slider returns a whiff percentage of 48 0.3%. When he decides to throw his fastball, Munoz just has a 98th percentile velocity sitting in his back pocket. The swing and miss numbers combined with how many ground balls he gets is ideal for a back end guy. And I once again love Andres Munoz in 2024. And my third option, Ryan Helsley of the Cardinals. His ADP is 117. Last season, three and four, two, four, five ERA, 14 saves and a 106 whip. He's a closer for a team I think should be much improved this season. Obviously with the Cardinals, he dealt with some 
some injuries that ended his season after just 33 appearances. Helsley is another huge arm that returns big whiff rates, a low barrel percentage against, and strikes out a ton of people. If he had qualified last season, Helsley would have been in the 95th percentile in expected ERA and barrel percentage, and the 99th percentile in expected batting average at only 156. His issue is a bad walk rate, paired with giving up hard hit fly balls. But that is why you get him at an ADP almost in the 12th round instead of a top seven round guy, because the arm talent is that. Helsley relies on a fastball with 99th percentile velocity that he ran up to 103.1 last year. He throws it 56% of the time and didn't allow one home run against the pitch last season. He runs a swinging strike percentage that is in the 95th percentile, thanks in part to a fantastic slider. He runs a swinging strike percentage and called strike and whiff rate in the 97th percentile on his slider and has an ideal contact rate in the 97th percentile on that same pitch. This is another guy that could easily shoot up boards when we look at closer rankings next year. I think he is able to rein in his command a little bit this season and lowers his walk percentage closer to that of his 2022 season. I love Cardinals closer Ryan Helsley for fantasy baseball in 2024. Thank you guys for watching. That's what I think of the closers close to the top of the board. Do not forget to subscribe, put in the comments what you like, and I will see you guys next time.